Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the first video in the series uh, from Level 3 Physics on inductors. So we're going to have a quick recap of what uh, magnetic fields are, look at magnetic fields around a wire, which you looked at in Level 2, and then introduce you to inductors. So in Level 2, um, we saw that, for example, a bar magnet has magnetic field lines, and these travel in loops, um, so they have to make sure that they loop right around. They go from north to south, um, and if you're ever unsure of a magnetic field around something, if you took a little compass, where you place that, and the direction the north arrow points was the arrow. So for example, I put a compass there, that's why that arrow goes in that direction, because that's the north of the arrow, would be pointing that way towards the south pole of the other magnet, right, because opposites attract. Put a compass here, be pointing this way. So wherever you put a compass, it points um, the way the field lines go. So that last compass, is pointing obviously away from the north of the bar magnet because um, the same poles uh, push away from each other and repel. So you also learned uh, last year the magnetic field around a wire. So a wire that has current through it, it generates a magnetic field. Um, and it's the moving electrons that, that cause that magnetic field. And there were two methods um, you used to work this out. Um, one was that I taught in my classes is the left hand rule for electrons. So we consider not the current, but which way are the electrons going. They're going the opposite way. You grab that with your left hand, and um, that tells you which way the arrows go on the circular field of the magnetic field. If um, most other teachers around the country are probably teaching the right hand grip rule um, for, for current. So that's you grab it with your thumb pointing in the direction of the current. It gives you the same answer though, okay? Because the right hand and left hand are obviously opposite to each other. Um, but it still gives you the right answer. So this year we're looking at not just a straight wire, we're looking at coils of wire. And a coil of wire is called an inductor. Um, it's also called a, um, a solenoid, is, is a term you might come across. Um, for level three, you can consider a solenoid and an inductor the same thing. They, they differ in how they're used, um, but for now it's effectively a coil of wire. Right, so you can coil right wire around um, nothing, so it, it has what's called an air core, the core of it's made of air. You could coil it around some metal or iron, um, and that's an iron core inductor. So you can see the symbols uh, down in the bottom right here. So air core is just a, a coil of wire with nothing in the middle of it, and when you put iron in the middle of it, you have this symbol here, which makes it a better inductor. So as we knew the um, magnetic field around a single wire, we have to know what the magnetic field looks like around a coil of wire for this year. Um, and so each coil of wire makes its own magnetic field. I mean, each you know, section of wire, just like when you were looking at straight wires from last year, makes a magnetic field. You've got to consider all of those loops, um, and they add up. So if you were to go and use your right-hand rule, your left-hand rule, whatever you're going to use, and look at every single section of wire in that coil and then add up all of those fields, what you get is you get an overall field that looks like a bar magnet. Right, so there's our picture of a bar magnet. I've just inverted this one so it looks like it's, it's going in the same direction. And you'll notice that the field around a um, coil looks similar. It comes out of one end, loops around, goes back to the other end. And so we can come up with a rule um, to be able to predict, if we know that we've got a coil of wire, we just have to draw a field like a bar magnet, you need to know where the north is. And so the rule for this is a right-hand rule. It's a right-hand grip rule. So you take your right hand, your th fingers wrap around the coil um, the same way as the current's wrapping around. So you can see those arrows on the coil below and the fingers from the right hand are, are facing the same way. And then the way that your thumb ends up when you grab the coil like that it points to the north of the coil. So once you've got that north, then you can put, add the field lines. Um, your thumb points north. So if we did the same thing here, we'd say, okay, I want to, um, I've already drawn the field lines on here, but let's pretend we didn't know where they are. You follow the current, so you can see the current coming up from the right-hand side. You grip it with your right hand, and so it would it would grip with your, your fingers going over the top, and so you can see your thumb has pointed to the right side. So that is correct. That's the north side of that one there. So in summary, these uh, inductors that we're looking at this year are coils of wire. Um, they've got the symbol, which is sort of like a, a, a coiled symbol. Uh, we can have an iron core in that, uh, and those are the two lines over the top of the symbol. They create a field around them, and that field looks like a bar magnet's field. It's a north end and a south end, 
and you have to be able to use the right hand grip rule to figure out where it is. Now if you learn the right hand grip rule um, last year, last year you had um, the thumb was pointing in the current and the fingers of the field. This year for a solenoid it's the opposite way around. Your fingers follow the current and the thumb points to the north of the field.